Now, I can't believe that I just learned this. Remember the project that I talked about, NFTF, and the platform that essentially allows you to leverage trade NFTs up to like 10x leverage? Well, this is how you're able to do exactly that and trade NFTs like a liquid asset. Say hello to Supernova or SNV. Now, what is it is probably the right question you should be asking. Well, it's essentially a flow price perp dex that tracks five different crypto NFT collections. That's BAYC, MAYC, Azuki's, Doodles, and Clone X. Now, essentially, you're ready to long or short this particular index. Now, remember in my last video, I had mentioned that this particular team was also working on more products. The team behind NFTFN are slowly but surely also expanding into ordinals and RWA perps. Well, this is just one of them. Now, the real question though that comes to mind is what is their NFT vetting or selection process? Is it random? Heck no. The selection process of, you know, certain blue chip NFTs is actually pretty rigorous, to be honest, involving multiple filtering stages to ensure that only only the highest quality of projects are included. Now check out this particular diagram to know exactly what I'm talking about in terms of the flow of that particular selection process. Now. Is divided into a couple of different stages. So stage one is actually where data is collected from OpenSea APIs and the top 100 projects are sorted according to trading volume. Now, step number two is actually where the data is fed in two databases and filtered based on various different criteria, such as total trading volume, a number of unique owners, verified projects, time of existence of those particular projects and a 30 day trading volume. Now, step number three actually involves employing a third party data vendor, in this particular case, Bitscrunch. Now, the vendor is involved in conducting an additional quality filtration using a set of different scores, which of course you guys can check out in the docs. And this particular criteria essentially helps narrow down the NFT projects further. And lastly, step number four is where once all of this data is collected, an NFT index is created. Now, why do they require this particular process? This essentially helps ensure that what you're trading is safe. So now that you know how this particular project helps you trade NFTs in a more liquid manner, do make sure to go ahead and check out NFTFN and spread the word. Now, if you did like this video and videos like this, do make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Do comment in the comment section below and let me know what else you guys want to see and hear about NFTFN. And as usual, I'll see you in my next video.